Welcome everyone, it's Jennifer. Today I have a type of video that I actually haven't done in a while and that is a product release close-up video. I'm taking the newest release from Lawn Fawn, which is fantastic, and giving you a close look at all the products so you can decide if any of them are right for you. And I'm also going to give some ideas for using these products. Now also in this release, in addition to the stamps and uh, dyes and such, they have some brand new inks. Now I've been getting a lot of questions about these inks so I thought I'd start with these first. Lawn Fawn inks are a dye ink. That means it absorbs into the paper, it basically dyes the paper and dries very quickly. So this is good for all your basic stamping needs. Now the Lawn Fawn line so far has 10 inks. They've said that they're going to be adding more colors. So they've started with 10, which I'm showing you here today. By the way, I've stamped all of these colors onto little ink swatches and I have a free download where you can print your own to create your own ink swatches. And you can just click over to my blog to see that. I will start by saying that I really like this ink line, and I knew I would because Lawn Fawn always delivers really high quality, well thought out products. Now one of the first things I like about this ink is you can see the swatch that I just stamped there on the left. It's kind of uneven and dark and not filled in nicely, but the swatch on the right that has been given some time to really absorb into the paper, that is nice and solid and even. So you get that quality from this ink. The results after a little bit of time are fantastic. This property of kind of evening out is similar to the Hero Arts shadow inks that I use and love and talk about all the time. But this formulation seems to be a little bit different. It doesn't seem to get as big of a difference as the before and after, but it, the results are still very strong. Okay, so here you can see all the colors. There are 10 colors here. This is the second thing I like about this ink, is the colors are gorgeous. They are very Lawn Fawn-like, and I love the Lawn Fawn product line. So these colors are fantastic. They really put a lot of thought into the color selection. There's a great dark blue here, like a navy, and I love the gray. It's like the perfect shade of gray. It's called Hippo. And their black licorice is a very, very sharp, dark black, which is always something we need. The third thing I like about this ink is that the color doesn't seem to transfer between stampings if you clean it off. So sometimes if you use a dye ink, maybe like a dark blue dye ink, then you clean your stamp really well and go and stamp with a yellow, it taints your yellow image even though you've cleaned it. And I know that bothers some people. It's part of the nature of some dye inks, especially if you're using good quality clear stamps. Now good quality clear stamps will stain with color, but you should be able to clean them and not get a transfer of color. And I noticed that this ink seems to clean off pretty easily from the clear stamps and not transfer on to the next color, which is always a great benefit. The Lawn Fawn inks are also made in the US, are really great quality. They're acid free and fast drying. Now, if you've watched videos from me before, you know that there are a lot of inks out there that I really like and that I use often. But really what it comes down to is you have to choose what is important to you, what properties and in inks is impor are important to you, and also what colors you like. But if you're looking for a good collection that stamps well, this is a great ink line. Now here in this video in the YouTube description below and in my blog, I will link to a video where I talk about the different properties about the different types of inks there are. And also I will link to a video that Kelly Marie over at Lawn Fawn put together about these inks in case you want to learn some more. Okay, so now that we've covered those beautiful ink colors, let's go ahead and talk about the stamps and dyes that Lawn Fawn included in this release. Now I'm just going to go through and just talk a little bit about each and some ideas that I had for using them and maybe it'll in inspire you to think of some things too. The first stamp set is Baked with Love, and this is great to accompany any kind of homemade treat that you may give somebody, or just for a fun card. Now one of the things I really like about Lawn Fawn stamps is they're always great for coloring. They're always easy to color images, so you can try out any new color mediums that you've been wanting to do. I really like the cupcakes on this set. I think it'd be fun to line a bunch of them up, maybe stamp little smileys on it, or put some like heavy layers of embossing powder for the frosting or maybe some embossing paste with some color in it. I also, you see that little icing bag. I don't know what it's called, but it's the thing that you use to apply little detailed icing. I think it'd be fun to position that right at the end of a sentiment. So it looks like you actually squeezed out the sentiment and wrote it with the icing. So you would stamp the um, sentiment in whatever color you fill in the icing bag. 
Another really good thing about Lawn Fawn stamps is they also have coordinating dies available for almost all of their stamp sets. And they really cut out almost all the images in a stamp set too, which is fantastic. So for most of these sets, there are coordinating dies available. Okay, now this is the extra special Easter stamp set. There are so many fun things you can do with this. I can't wait to stamp this guy here and color him like chocolate because he's got a little bite out of his ear along with the greeting that says you're irresistible. I also think you could do a very simple card by stamping a bunch of those little eggs in a row and putting little smiley faces on them and stamping the greeting have an extra special day. I plan to use this stamp set to make little cards to put in my kids lunchbox during the Easter season. And of course there is a coordinating die set available that cuts out almost all the images in this set. Next is the Gleeful Gardens. I love gardening. That's my hobby. Uh, so this is a great one for me. I think it'd be fun to stamp the sentiment that says snail mail for you, kind of along behind the little snail. Very simple card. Great for some basic coloring. I also think it's adorable. There's the I love you so mush greeting on the bottom that you can use with the mushroom images and put a little smiley face on the mushroom if you want to. I really like that envelope image that you see right in the center of the stamp set. That's fun to kind of team up with all the other little critter images. Also, I really like the sentiment that says, sorry I'm late because I am notorious for missing birthdays. So I could team that sorry I'm late sentiment up with any stamp sets that I already have and put maybe like a happy birthday with it. I don't know, this is one of those stamp sets where you could just stamp like a whole border of it, take it with you to like a basketball game or baseball practice along with some markers and color it in. Just fun to color. Next we have Critters in the Jungle. Lawn Fawn is very well known for their critters and I think this monkey is just adorable. I think he'd be fun to kind of have jumping around or swinging around inside of maybe a shaker box. Have, actually have that image shaking in the box. I also think that snake is the best with you're the best uh, sentiment also. I love clever little things like that especially when they're unique. I had never seen that before on a stamp set. That large elephant is great because he's pretty basic. So you could put like a party hat on him if you wanted to or add some hearts to it to make it a perfect baby card. And of course, there are the coordinating dies available. Next is the fantastically great best pun ever stamp set. I am a big fan of these kind of things because you can just do a simple stamped image, a simple sentiment, and it's just funny enough and cute enough to be all you need. So I also like that they broke the sentiments up so you can kind of build your own sentiment on the bottom. So you could stamp like you're the coolest mom or you're the best dad ever. You know, you can kind of team it all up and change it up. And I like that there's mom and dad in there also. The, I think it's really cute how they have the you're the greatest and they have the cheese grater and a block of cheese and fantastic along with the fan. Lots of things that you can kind of team up here and get some clever little puns. Pun stamp sets like this are very popular right now, but I think this one's very unique. Next we have the Let's Play. This one's great for kind of creating a scene. So if you like creating scenes with your stamps, this is perfect for it. Also, I like that there's small little critters in here so that you can get real creative in these scene building things. I'm really excited about that swing. I'm going to try to figure out how to make that swing actually swing inside of like maybe a window on the front of a card or maybe as part of a shaker card, maybe inside a shaker card so that swing kind of can move around a little bit. I don't know, this kind of thing is great for building scenes, but also shaker cards are very popular right now. You can put some of these images inside the shaker window. Another thing that I like about Lawn Fawn is they often come out with smaller stamp sets that are more affordable. Here's two from this release. My favorite is the Stuck on You. I'm a big fan of succulents and cactus, so I was really excited about this one and the sentiments are so fun. You could just do some basic stamping with some solid ink and then you can draw the little sharp pieces on the cactus or even put tiny little dots of perfect pearls, or I'm sorry, liquid pearls to give it a little bit of dimension. And then there's also the My Lucky Charm stamp set there that would be great for St. Patrick's Day or for little cards for kids. Lawn Fawn also actually has some even smaller stamp sets, so these are fun. One is the Year 5. Actually, I think Lawn Fawn does one every year on their birthday. They come out with a new small set. This year, it's the um, Otter set that you see there at the top. And then there's also the fun I Really Like You stamp on the bottom. These little sets, I, since they're inexpensive, they're great to kind of put into a gift for a kid and kind of get some new people addicted to stamping.
There are a few really unique stamp sets in this release from Lawn Fawn. This frame stamp set is fun because you could uh, stamp any of your little critters in the center, but what I'd like to do is cut out the center and put a photo of my kids in it and send that to grandma. I just like how these uh, frames are fun and playful. Another unique set they have in their release is this uh, gingham backdrops. They're great at, Lawn Fawn's great at kind of border, I, I, I guess you would call them border stamps that you build to create a great background, and that's what this does here. But I'll be honest, what I'm really excited about in this stamp set is the Oh Happy Day greeting. I just think that's a great greeting for a lot of different occasions, and it matches up nicely with a lot of the stamp sets that they have in this release. And also just the simple hello is fun too. But those gingham background stamps are great for like a tone on tone background on any card. Now I save what I think is best for last. This is my favorite stamp set in the re release. It's called Scripty Sains. I'm a big fan of the Lawn Fond handwriting that they use on their greetings. I think it's playful yet classy and it can be used with a variety of styles of cards. And this set is fun because it covers a lot of different occasions and it stretches across the width of a note card. So you can use it uh, on pretty much any kind of card you want. And I'm going to show you an idea for teaming this up with one of their die sets a little bit later in this video. But I just think this set is great. You could even just ink up the sentiment itself and not the scripty little scribbles along the side for a small sentiment if you wanted to. Okay, so now it's time for the dies. Now, this is my favorite die from the set. I use the expression hugs all the time, and it works for so many occasions of cards, especially for friends. And this is just fun and playful. And I'll link to some videos where I've used Lawn Fawn scripty word dies. They have some others like hello out already. I'll link to some videos where I use that. It might give you some ideas for using this one. Now along the same lines of that scripty sane stamp set I showed you, they have this happy birthday to you die and I like it so much because it's so intricate and so detailed. You could cut off the to you and have it be a shorter sentiment, but as is, it's long enough to stretch across the width of a card, which is fantastic. Oh, and a little tip for you. I like to die cut the word that I um, when I get a new die and keep that in with the packaging. So when I'm flipping through, I don't have to try to read what the die says backwards. I can just look at what the die cut says that I have in there. Okay, the next die from Lawn Fawn is this candy box. So what you do is you cut two of the shape that you see there on the left, and you go ahead and score or just fold across all of the score lines that the die creates. So you need two for each of the candy boxes you put together. On one of them, along the little flap, you put some adhesive, and we're going to adhere that to the other piece. Now, I'm really quickly showing you how this goes together, and I will be sure to provide a link to a video that Lawn Fawn's done that gives a little more detail on how this goes together, but it's really quite simple. Once I have the two pieces together, I just go ahead and fold along the score lines on the end. I find it's easier to do this after they're glued together because you can score them all at once or fold them all at once as opposed to each piece separately. Now we take the last flap and put some adhesive on that and then close it up and you've created a little candy box that is absolutely adorable. Now what you can do is put things inside of it and then tie string around the two ends and you end up with this adorable little candy box. I know there have been others of these out on the market before, a little bit different, but this one seems to be the easiest put together of all I have tried before. So look how cute that is. Just put any kind of ribbon or baker's twine on the end and you're good to go. Just a great little treat box. In this release, there are also two dies that create cupcake wrappers. So the one on the left, you just die cut that and then hook the two ends together and put it around a cupcake and you have the little grass edge. The arch is so that it wraps around a cupcake nicely and the other one has this scallop. This is great for making little treats a little extra special, very easy to assemble. There is also the picket fence border die, which is a very self-explanatory, but what I really am liking in this set is this border here. It is a strip, it cuts a thin strip with a faux stitch line down the center. I use thin strips on my cards all the time, but the fact that this has the faux stitched uh, line kind of down the center just makes it a little extra special. So I will be using that quite often. They also released uh, this set of three stitched labels. Now this is perfect for adding just a small little sentiment onto a card. A lot of the Lawn Fawn sentiments that are a little bit smaller fit in these quite nicely. And of course, I'm a big fan of this faux stitching around the edges. 
There's also this balloon die set. Now there are a lot of balloon dies out there, but what's great about this one is there are a variety of balloon shapes, including the star and the heart in there, and also the strings that go on it. But what I'm looking forward to is die cutting some of these balloons and then using the scripty saying stamp sets for the string that's kind of coming down from the balloons. Just a fun way to tie their die set together with the stamp set. The last two die sets in this release are the large and small stitched square stackables and I've put them together in one package here. Every other die is in the large set and the others are in the small set. The large set has the biggest square being about four and a half inches wide and the small set has the biggest square being about four inches wide. So between the two sets you could have pretty much every size square you need. So this cuts the outside square edge and then a faux stitched edge on the inside. I've used the Lawn Fawn stitched uh, rectangle stackables a lot in videos. So now we also have the square option available. In this release, Lawn Fawn also had some accessories and I have a few of them here. I'm really excited, of course, about the Hugs wood veneer because I really love that sentiment. And I like that there are two sizes in the package. I really love the Lawn Fawn scripty font a lot. Lawn Fawn also came out with some more pattern papers. Their pattern papers are available in 12 by 12 sheet um, packs, but I'm a big fan of the six by six pattern paper packs. Since these patterns were created by card makers, they're really easy to use as a card maker because they're small patterns and very subtle, so they're very simple to use. I'm very excited about how in the second paper pad there are some small star patterns, and I think that's great for backgrounds on a lot of different cards. I'm really excited about these blues with these tiny little tone-on-tone -tone stars. Really fun to use. So there is a look at the newest release from Lawn Fawn. If you're interested in the products, they are linked below in the YouTube description, or you can go over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com where I have much more information. Now, if you stuck around this long and this long of a video, I have something cute to share with you. Lila came up while I was doing this voiceover and started talking, and I thought I'd record it and share it with you. See you again next time. What did you ask me, Lila? What am I doing? What am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? Doing a voiceover. I'm doing a voiceover. Can you say hi to all my friends? Hi. Do you like to stamp? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can, can you say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? bye.